What's up vlog? Valentina is not getting out of bed because she's sick. So we're gonna wake her ass up. It's fully raining in Mexico. It's not like I paid a lot of money to get a blowout, but it's fine. It's so fine. Get your ass up, we're going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the mind and the fact that you're choosing to believe you're sick is mental. Does that sound familiar? Leave me alone. Get your ass up. Did you even tell them where we are? We're in Mexico City. Mexico. Para todos que hablan español. Hola, ¿cómo están? We are in Mexico City. We just arrived. If you haven't watched the pack with me, go watch that video because I was going through it, but it's actually pretty entertaining. We have dinner in literally an hour, yet I'm not ready whatsoever, and we're supposed to go to, like, a bar. And guess what? Guess who's legal? I'm legal! Fun fact that she didn't tell you it was like sunny when we got here. I heard so much thunder five minutes ago and it's pouring rain. I also brought literally tank tops. I didn't bring a single sweater, like not a jacket, no sweater, nothing. Get your ass up, I'm over this energy. I woke up in a new Bugatti. Great, great, great. I can never skitch, gang, gang. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait. I can never skitch, gang, gang. That's on my kick. I put a tuba on the blade, put a blade on the switch. I keep my right hand spinning like my last name. Spin. Hey, yeah, hey. <laughs> I can't believe I'm like fully on vacation right now. Like it's just not hitting me. Should have probably washed my face because we came from the airport. But I guess today's just not that day. I genuinely feel like I am like dying on the inside. <laughs> We're going to this place called Quintonil. They have like a tasting menu and I'm very excited, but it's basically like 32 courses or something like that. So we're gonna be so full after, but I'm excited to try everything. <coughs> we're in a mindset, we're in a mindset. I am not sick. My under eyes right now, woo! They need some love. I am wearing this one strap top. This is the first time I'm trying it on. And then I have these pair of super baggy jeans and a basic black heel and then this little bag. And that is my dinner outfit. Let's go eat some bomb food. To start our tasting menu, we have a ceviche nopal, which is ceviche of cactus. It's bomb. Next item is this cantaloupe salad. Mm. Oh my God. There's grasshopper in this dish. Mm. I'm gonna build the taco just as she said to do it. She said to do some beans and then I'm gonna take chorizo, some cheese, dousing my taco and salsa. This is one of the best tacos I've ever had. Todo esto se pone en parrilla y se deja tostarse o quemarse. Oh my god, that's actually probably the best thing I've ever had. Mm. Oh my god, look at the caviar. Wow, ice cream and caviar sounds like the best combo. Oh my god, my new favorite thing now. I'm gonna want caviar and ice cream. No, oxtail, you don't wanna make oxtail hit me up. Actually, damn. Oh my god, oh my god. Be jump, careful. Jump, jump. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be your man. My dad wants me to show you guys in Bursa. Okay, so it's Carlos Slim owns that place. Yeah. Right. What does it have to do with Formula One? Because he actually supports Checo Perez. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We love that. We love that. All in support of F1. Anything that has to do with F1, I support it. So, in Bursa, I support. We just got back from dinner. We stopped at the pharmacy and the guy told me to get some vitamin C. He's like, it'll help you with all of your sinuses, all of your throat issues, like everything. It literally is like an emergency and my mom's like pissed because she literally wanted him to give her a B12 shot And I'm like mom, he's not gonna give you a syringe like over the counter and she's like they should do it Like I don't understand why they don't I just kind of feel like a little bit tired and I know we have friends coming in tomorrow I know we're gonna be out later and probably get dinner like at this time It's like 9 30 right now So I just want to have a little bit of rest and just like walking those like five minutes like to the car was like so nice Because we got to see like a little bit of the city. I'm excited to see it in the daytime tomorrow I'm gonna do my skincare routine and go to sleep, but that was day one of Mexico City and I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you! It's 12.23. I had a very late start to my morning. I ordered some chamomile tea with honey and then a shot of lemon juice. I've never felt so bipolar in my life. My ears start to hurt and I start to sob. So if I look like I'm crying, that's because I just had a breakdown, but I'm fine again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ridiculous. So good.
We're at the museum and I'm so peaceful because my throat hurts so I don't have to talk to anyone because everyone's just silently looking at everything. I love learning. Museo de Antropología e Historia. What she said, that's where we are. Like, look at how cool that is. Oh my god. Like, look at this. This is so sick. La Ceramica. I've tried poetry. Wait, poetry. I've tried pottery. We are on our way to dinner. Well, not on our way. We have to leave in like two seconds. I've been laying down and like trying to take a nap, but now everyone's like literally running out of the house. This is our dinner fit. Let's go eat. I'm sorry. That chicken is getting literally ripped to shreds. I need to share the backstory with this chicken. Essentially, it takes like almost two hours to cook. So I had to call in advance because they make three chickens a day to reserve the chicken. This might be the best piece of chicken I've ever had in my life. You used Snapchat? You talked to your friends via like, Snapchat? Four of them. Is that Snapchat? No! <laughs> That's your communication. We never moved on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Baba. It is literally 12.30, I think. My mom and I are home. The rest of our group isn't. Although I don't feel the best, I've had the best time here. I love Mexico City. I think it's literally the coolest place ever. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, vlog. I just changed for the day. I'm wearing this like red dress that I haven't worn in an entire year. When I tell you, I feel so much better today. I was in so much pain. So I'm happy I'm doing better. I feel better. Like, my energy is different like I can just tell I think we're gonna go and grab some coffee and pastries probably I'm excited so let's go we're walking around Lincoln Park I didn't know there was a park here that was this big there's kids like rollerblading and it's the cutest thing ever if anyone wonders where I am in the next like months, I'm gonna be here because I'm never going back to LA. Hence the name of the park. We have the Lincoln Memorial. Look at Abraham Lincoln. Wait, why is he like looking at us like that? <laughs> Tasting, tasting, tasting. In the words of my friend Dave Pornoy, this is one that you definitely travel for. Okay, so it has to be above eight. 8.3. 8.3? Look at you! We're trying. Oh my god. It's actually so good. This is like my type of pastry. It's like fruit, flakiness, cream. Should I have gotten a fourth? Bite it like a pizza. I'm like shaking of excitement. Oh my god. You're so dramatic, it literally hurts. No, this is my type of pastry. I like this, I love Don't go that up close. Look at that. Wait, this is like the best thing I've ever had. So I found this girl on a TikTok, literally, and they said it was like the best quesadillas. This store is currently closed and they left a sign that says we left to eat some taquitos. Like, isn't that the cutest thing ever? Surprise, surprise, we came to another museum. There's a ton of different sculptures from different eras and different artists. Mr. Rodin makes a lot of these sculptures that look like people are attacking each other. You can't really even see what's going on. We were supposed to go to a castle, but it closed by the time we got there. So then we drove and there was so much traffic, so I took a nap and then we stopped to get hoodies and now we're at this museum if you look this one's actually made all out of feathers i don't know if you can tell but like right on the trees there's like various different grain looking things and it's all feathers how sick is that look at these cool winter wonderlands like i usually am not into this and like i'm so like i feel like joyful looking at all the I get the point of museums. I just took a shower because I felt disgusting, but I did take my makeup off and I kept my hair kind of up. But I'm gonna retouch my mom's makeup, redo mine, and then we'll be ready to go out. Mom, do you want to show them the concealer I put on oh, your face? It's a little bit concealer. <laughs> Might as well put it on my freaking fingers and then you go like this. Seal it. What the fuck? I'm gonna... My mom. It's so about we're going out, so I need to do all this Wait. shit. <laughs> so it's time to do my mom's makeup. 
you not have like a brush? Like a I don't know, I don't. You need to. I, I always do it with my fingers. Anytime I do my mom's makeup, I feel like a full beauty guru. You'll see right now. I like to grab her ear because I feel like her hair always gets in the way. That's like abused by the way she does it. This is what I do. This is like my. Okay, wait, where are we going out? I think we're going to a club. I put my concealer on like different parts of your face and it's a bit dark. And it looks like splotchy on the camera. I don't care. Oh, what? <laughs> this is like this, but then no. I look like I, I work at like a Lion King. <laughs> no mames, Latina. Caca. Blend that shit. My forehead is the color of my knees. It's because you say that you look too pale, so then I try to put on you. The ear again. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'll see you in a sec. Look is complete. I changed my earrings. I redid my hair. You can't see the whole dress, but I'm wearing a skim dress. Mom is ready to go. Fit is ready. Okay, I'm ready. See you later. Bye. My breakfast is served. It's this gorgeous plate of fruit, and then they brought me the yogurt and the honey on the side. I was about to say miel, like I'm forgetting words in English. I'm gonna prepare it. A couple dolls never hurt anyone. The humidity has my hair like literally going like this. Come, look at that. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. We decided to come to the Castillo de where? Chapultepec, something like that. When I tell you it's a hike, we're hiking in this heat. My mom fully just asked someone how long it took them to get up. They said five minutes. The one day I don't bring my glasses. sunglasses. I took my sunglasses out of my purse like right before we left. The one day there's sun in our face. It's okay though. We got this. It's a breeze. There's a breeze. There's a breeze. <laughs> mom, look at you surfing. We have made it inside the castle. There's a lot of stairs. There's no AC. It's like an indoor-outdoor vibe. But look at how pretty these windows are. Like. How incredible is this? Like, the lighting? This is crazy. I'm happy we we're at the top of the castle because there's a breeze up here. Look at how pretty it is. Oh my goodness. We just got back to the house. I took a nap and now everyone's ready. So I change so fast for dinner. This is the fit and let's go. I love this place. It's a vibe. The food is, I get so lightened up when it's like comes with food. Frying into an tostada. Oh my God. There's like crispy onion. Buenisima. Is it good? Should I try it? Oh my God. Feliz cumpleaños. Everyone's cried at this dinner because it's just too good. I want to cry myself to sleep of happiness. Zane ordered the tart and he was the only one who didn't get any. He's going to cut it like this. <laughs> Thanks very much, everyone. We are back from dinner. I heard amazing things about the restaurant we had for dinner, but I didn't know we were gonna go till today. I'm so happy we went because probably one of the best restaurants I've ever been to in my entire life. Everything was delicious. I had no complaints. Everyone at dinner loved every single thing on the menu. There was seven of us and that's rare. Usually everyone has like their opinion, whatever. Some people like this, some people like that, but everyone loved everything at dinner. And now tomorrow we go to Guadalajara, so I'm excited, but I'm packed up and I'm ready to go tomorrow. Kind of sad because <laughs> I really liked it here and I know we're gonna still be in Mexico, but I don't know, this place is like really cool. It's like 10.30 right now. I have a really good night of sleep ahead of me. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We are on our last walk and it is so pretty out. It's like gloomy, but it's not raining yet. I got a matcha. I'm living life. Walking back to the house and then we literally have to get on a flight and that's about it for our day. So we're enjoying the beautiful weather, the beautiful vibes. Everyone is packed up and we are heading out. I'm a little bit sad, but let's go. We're leaving. I'm sad. I never got to like cook in the kitchen. See you soon. Mexico City. 